So with BPPV affecting the lateral canal, a good option to use for treatment is the Zuma Maneuver. And the cool thing with the Zuma Maneuver is you can treat it for both canalithiasis and cupelothiasis of the lateral canal. Kind of like you can use the Samoa to treat both canalithiasis and cupelothiasis of the posterior canal. So before we go into how to do the maneuver, we have to figure out which ear is involved. And uh, to do that, you can use the roll test or the bow and lean test to figure out which ear is involved. And in this case, for this example, we'll assume it's Luke's left ear, okay? So we'll have Luke sitting with his feet over the edge of the bed, goggles on so I can see what's happening. If there's any dizziness, I can look for nystagmus. All right, so Luke, I'm just gonna hold both sides of your head here, okay? You can hold on to my form. And then on three, we're gonna lie as quick as you can on your left side, so that'll be his affected side, okay? You may get dizzy, but it'll pass. Or keep your head still and keep those eyes open so I can see what's happening, okay? Any questions? No? Okay, on three. One, two, three. Good. So we move as quick as we can onto his left or affected side, and that's key, especially if it's cupelothiasis, because that quick motion uh, helps to really shear those crystals off the cupola if they're stuck on there, okay? And he'll be dizzy, when we initially lay him down, it'll pass. And the instructions technically are to hold this position for at least three minutes, okay? And we'll assume that time has evolved. We'll just move the cord out of here. Now the next step, I'll come around here, is to turn his head 45, sorry, 90 degrees up. So I'm gonna turn his head 90 degrees up. So he's gonna be looking over his unaffected side, okay? Luke on three, and I'll turn your head over the right shoulder. One, two, three, okay? And then technically, again, the instructions are to hold this position for at least three minutes. I find it a little bit more comfortable to have them roll onto their back. So just stabilize their head here. And then can you roll onto your back there, Luke? There we go. Okay. So hold this position for at least three minutes. Okay. After three minutes, we have him turn his head 90 degrees to the right again. Okay, Luke, we're gonna look over the right shoulder or towards the unaffected side. On three, one, two, three. And I never move the head for them, I never force it. I let them move and I just kind of guide the motion. And we'll hold this for at least three minutes as well. And if they don't have a full 90 degrees of neck mobility, they can kind of roll onto their side just to get that motion that we do need. All right, then after three minutes, we'll tuck his chin in. Okay. And then I'm going to come around to the other side. And Luke, you can hold on to my forearm here. I'm going to uh, grab underneath his head here and behind his shoulder. And then on three, we're going to slowly sit him up with his head turned to the right and his chin, his chin tucked in. Okay. Any questions, Luke? No. Nope. Okay. On three. One, two, three. And then up. And then slowly return it back to the start position. Okay. You okay there, Luke? Yep. Nope. And then from there, you can reassess what the fact of the treatment was with either the roll test, or as he's sitting, I may use the bow and lean test. All right, so there you go. That is the Zuma maneuver for treating BPPV of the lateral canal.